Good morning! It's Tuesday again and so I'm back with another K's Tuesday Tips. So this one is going to start with a story. Um, this weekend, well this weekend that just passed, you know, I had some really like major pains and I didn't understand what was going on. I had gone to the doctor on Friday and they decided to take some blood and check my levels, you know, your cholesterol, your vitamin D, potassium, creatine, and all these different things in your blood to see how you're doing as far as health-wise uh, is concerned. And when I got my results back, I found that I was missing a key fat soluble. And that's why I've been having some really, like, pains in my body, which was, which is not normal for me, right? So I decided to do a video on it today. <clears throat> and so what is this key vitamin, fat soluble vitamin that all of us need in order to keep us in optimum health? Can you guess? Anyone? Um, it's vitamin D. And uh, for me, I've always been told, just be in the, go in the sun, sit there for a little bit and you'll be fine. But I guess when you are working so hard and you are indoors all day, it's easy to not get your vitamin D. And so you got to start almost like taking supplements to supplement the vitamin D that you're not getting. So why is vitamin D so important? wrote some notes so I could give you some information. So it's a fat soluble that helps boost functions like boosting immu your immune system, reducing inflammation, and promoting cell growth and supporting neurovascular functions. So that explains why I wasn't um, feeling well as far as feeling all the pain in my body. My doctor told me that I have a level of eight and an, an adult, like myself, uh, we're supposed to have between 30 to 100. So as you can see, mine was very low. Um, so it plays a key role in prevention and treatment of different health issues such as type one and type two diabetes, hypertension, glucose intolerance, and MS, as among other autoimmune diseases. So if you're suffering for, from things like um, hypertension or glucose intolerance, it could be that you're missing out on your vitamin D. So how do you know that you're deficient? Um, well, the first one is impaired immunity. If you're getting sick all the time, you may want to check your vitamin D levels. Bone pain, tiredness and fatigueness, as well as mood swings, psoriasis, digestive problems, excessive sweating in the head, and high blood pressure, and lastly, overweight, being overweight or obese. So what are the things that you can do to help you get back to where you need to be as far as your vitamin D is concerned? Of course, basking in the sun. Who doesn't love being in the sun? So um, taking about 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes in the sun without sunscreen. And I know that's like, cliche, you know, it's, it's taboo for me to say, but if you have sunscreen on, you won't be able to receive, you know, the, what the sun gives you. So about 10 to 15 minutes in the sun without sunscreen will give you what you need. But if you're not into that or you work all day, for example, like I do, during the time that the sun is out, then uh, you may want to think of a vitamin D supplement. Now, what, uh, you want to take about 5,000 IC, IU uh, per day if you're an adult and then of course for your children and babies you want to do about a thousand now I don't know which ones to take because I just recently found out that <laughs> I am vitamin D deficient so I'll get some information and drop some information for you in the comments below if you're interested and as you know me I'm all about being doing this through your diet you know being uh, doing it through your food and your drink so um, you can eat salmon it's a fatty fish or any other fatty fish. I mean, I'm always like, I like salmon. So I don't know any other fatty fish that I can recommend to you, but I guess I'll do some research for you. And then uh, beef liver. And I guess a lot of people don't like liver, but my mom makes like this amazing liver fry that's amazing. And so of course I will be calling my mother to get a recipe. And then for those that eat eggs, like I don't eat eggs. But for those that do, egg yolks are good for you to have vitamin D. And lastly, good old fashion OJ. Orange juice is also great for vitamin D if you're deficient. So one of the things that I would recommend you to do is go and get some blood work done. 
uh, let the doctor get some blood and do some testing of your blood to see where you are with your vitamin D levels because you need it. <laughs> Most of us are walking around deficient and we don't know. I would encourage you to go ahead and um, get that checked out and then leave me a comment below and tell me what you think of my video and if you have suffered for, from um, vitamin D deficiency and what have you done to help you get where you need to be. So thank you so much for your time. Um, I hope that my, my video was insightful and uh, it will help you get closer and closer to your optimum health. Uh, once again, have a wonderful and healthy day. Thanks.